we have two major reactions to this. These people are fucking defeated and they go back to doing what they do. Okay? They're like, fuck this shit, and rightfully so. Who would want to take this path, end up here, and have low quality women you really don't want to spend time with and you really shouldn't be putting your dick into? Okay, these are the sociopaths. Okay, these are the dangerous people. These people will fuck you up. They can't help themselves. All right? These people are defeated. Now let's talk about defeated people. What happens when you're defeated? I don't know of a single person who isn't profoundly defeated in an immensely emotional and intimate way that doesn't get resentful, especially where your sexual identity is concerned. We are striking home at your sense of masculinity, who you are as a man, and your quality as an individual when we're talking here. How fucking angry do you think you're going to be? Do you know who these people are? Elliot Rogers. People here kill people. People here face a reality they don't want to admit. People here are resisting a reality. They are not only resentful, they're miserable for facing that reality and conflicting with that reality. And when you're not socially enabled, when you are not socially sane, when you're not full as a human individual, you kill people. You get violent. Because socially empathetic individuals don't harm other individuals. They don't kill. They don't beat. They don't turn to violence as a solution. This is a serious social problem. It's not just a pick pickup industry issue. It's exemplified by it. But society does this. Society expects men to achieve the things that they say we're supposed to, or taught, without the skills, background, or support of other men to show you how, to teach you, to guide you so this is preventable. This is a society problem, but the pickup industry will get blamed for it. And if you're in this industry, be careful. If you're in this industry and you want to make a change, step the fuck up. Become an industry leader. Show that this matters to you. That's the difference between a business and a cause. Apple's in business, but they serve a cause. It's not just products they produce, all right? Second one, big failure. We heard earlier that a lot of the guys are intelligent, okay? White collar guys, I happen to like them. I'm gonna root here, all right? I'm biased, so there's my biasness, all right? They're difficult to train in the pickup industry, and rightfully so. They recognize this is clownish fucking behavior. They see the road ahead of them. They don't wanna go down that fucking road. I wouldn't, but they kinda of wanna get over here. They think, they're told, they're sold, all right? But the reality is they kinda of wanna end up over here. So what do they do? They apply some of the lessons, and one of the first ones is their sense of reality, their sense of place. They develop small, marginal, menial skills of attraction. They understand when a chick's kind of interested in maybe, hey, she's looking at me. No, she really is looking at me. Not only that, he's able to convey interest as well. And guess what happens? Boom. This guy's all of a sudden in the middle of the dating population. What happens then? First or second girl that comes along, he's interested, met his objective, poof, he disappears. He doesn't get here, okay? This never happens. By the way, this guy, he's happier than hell. If you're in the pickup industry, this is lost profits. Take a look at that, guys. That is lost profits. That is an entire market segment. I could develop an industry right fucking there. Not teaching you pickup. I could teach you how to stay single. <laughs> By the way, we heard from those guys yesterday. You'll hear more. That is a marketplace. But let's look at this. Look at the profits driven here. We know this is viable. People are willing to pay good money for it to learn those skills. It's a skill. It's appreciable. It's valuable. It's appropriate. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with this either. But the pickup industry is losing half their business. You know why they're losing half their business? They're shitty businessmen. They don't understand business. They don't know how to market, they don't know how to deliver, they're not professional. And you're gonna see a transformation in this industry towards those lines. The firms that will be successful will be more professional. They will understand the services they provide. They will understand their market sector. They will understand the products and services they are fulfilling are needs of yours. Not only that, they'll have business models that'll work. I'm kinda of glad a lot of this doesn't work. 
Because those people don't stay in business long. They don't do a lot of this. They don't do a lot of damage, not the good ones. Because they actually have a better business model. They understand it better. Come on the stage, my man. Awesome you. introducing you, and I can't wait to watch what you got. My name is Socrates, and I am here to champion a cause. It is a cause and also a pathway that has been terribly degraded and demised in recent times. It is also a pathway and a destination that I hope changes in our society. But at this time in life, in where we live, it is immensely a dangerous environment. And I don't mean it facetiously. I mean it is terribly a risky endeavor. I'm not talking about a We know somebody who's out of control, okay? We know somebody who's just not physically a specimen of the human species we want to put forward. They know it, okay? Not only that, on a, on a social level, they don't have the social skills available as well. They are not projecting those elements of worth and value and standing within our society. It's true, not quite true. This is a hot or not scale. All right? This is why I know that hot or not isn't the only criteria. All right? We have four different individuals lined up here. And their sole response for getting a relationship, for finding what they want, marriage in this case, they apply what skills? If your only game you have is how hot you are, you're going to be pushing this vector right here. That's awesome. They're going to be hotter, they're more desirable, everything else. Problem is, only these individuals are actually relationship potentials. This is when you're getting tempted to date these people. These people here, nobody wants to be in a relationship with them, and they're not. All right? There's a harsh reality here. The market's, the market's responding. If you're not in a relationship and you're just focused on, on beauty and attraction, you're not going to get here. You can't get there by doing this. You're going to highly amplify your physical presence. All right, think about that for a second. You're going to highly amplify your physical being. Then you're going to act in a hyper-dominant way, traditionally. This is the traditional form. Not only that you're going to get aggressive sexually. Let's put all that together really quick. Over amplify your physical presence, getting socially dominant and aggressive and sexually domineering with people that are not dialed in socially. Anybody see a problem happening here? Anybody see a train wreck? Our sure as hell do. All right. It's not just a train wreck. Let's talk about their clientele. What are you going through? Because that's the only thing you guys really care about. You really don't care about th what ends up happening there. You actually care about your experience. What are you going to go through? You're going to go through initially a very creepy phase. You put in a little bit of effort, you're going to be a creepy fucking dude. You only put in a small amount of effort, you are going to be creepier than fuck. Okay? Just being honest. Now, nice, there's a, there's a degree of reprieve here. See that? Enjoy it. That is beautiful. You're good enough the way you are. You just need to be more beautiful. Remember that sliding bar? You just need to be more beautiful, not virtuous, more beautiful. What do the women magazines push? Beauty or virtue? Product. Product. That's right. <laughs> They're not pushing virtue. This sucks. If you're a woman and you're average, it sucks to be you. I'm talking to you. All right? What do you do? You better woman the fuck up. Really. You need to focus on virtue and learn those skills and apply those skills. Otherwise, you're here. Let's take it a step further. Let's talk about the guys now. Average guy. 